Hey guys, so this is a review video of simplifying fractions within fractions for calc and pre-calc students. So this is really like something that's more like an intermediate algebra skill, but I find a lot of calc students forget this, so I thought I'd make a little video on this. So here's kind of like a basic example just to kind of get this started. So the, the thing that you're really looking for, and, and this pops up all over calc, so I don't have like even like a specific place, you know, to tell you these examples will have this, this just kind of happens. So here's an example where I have two fractions on top within a, a bigger fraction. So in general, when you see this, just what you want to do is you basically want to turn this into one singular fraction. And there's more than one way to do this, but I will tell you what I think is the easiest way to do this. And if you look at a different YouTube channel, you'd find another explanation, but I'm, I'm just telling you what I, I happen to think is the easiest. So the easiest thing to do is to find the LCD of the fractions that you're looking at. So in this case, five halves and three fifths. So the LCD of this would be 10. And then what you want to do is you want to multiply the top and bottom of that fraction by that LCD. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to distribute this 10 to each fraction. So in doing that, what I get is I have, so 10 times uh, 5 halves minus 10 times 3 fifths. And then in the bottom, 3 times 10 is just going to be 30. So basically like the, the idea behind this is that the denominators are gonna cancel out with the 10. So what I mean is two goes into 10 five times. So, okay, so if I'm just simplifying this out, so this is really gonna leave me with five times five. So this will be 25. And then for this other one, five goes into 10 twice. So that'll leave me with two times three. So I'm really left with 25 minus six over 30. And so then you can just simplify from here to get uh, 19 over 30 and then you'd be done. So really the, the bigger point of this, I'm not really that worried about this, this part here, but I notice a lot of times people get tripped up by what do you do when you have fractions within fractions. So just to make this a little more interesting, so now I've got these two fractions. You might actually wanna pause the video here and just try this on your own to make sure that you've got it and then hit play when you're ready. So the LCD here is gonna be um, X plus one times three Y. So this is literally what I'm gonna multiply everything by. So I'm gonna multiply this by x plus one times three uh, y, and then I'm gonna do that also on the bottom. So x plus one times three y. Now, what will end up happening with this? So if I set all of this up in just excruciating detail, let's see, so I've got this minus, let's see, x plus one, three y, and then two over three y, and then in the bottom, I'm gonna call this three y times x plus one times two x minus three. Okay, so basically, like I said, the whole point of this is to cancel out the denominators. So like these x plus ones will drop out, and then these three y's will drop out. So then what you'd be left with, let's see if I can fit this on here. So 12 y minus two times x plus one over, 3y x plus 1 2x minus 3 and then I guess I could simplify this whole thing really as 12y minus 2x minus 2 over 3y times x plus 1 times 2x minus 3. Now I could factor like a, a 2 out of the top but otherwise there's not really much else I can do to simplify this. And there's really no reason for me to factor out the two since it's not gonna allow me to cancel anything out with the denominator anyways. So this would really be good to go. Okay, so I have just one more to show you. So something that, that is probably more likely to pop up in a calculus problem, I just saw this type of algebra pop up from a student. So this is why I, I thought of this. Okay, so you, you might be taking like derivatives or something and get something that looks all messed up like this. So what do you do in this case? Well, in this case, so it's it's still like literally the same idea. It's just fractions within fractions, but you probably want to multiply the stuff out first. So like here, like these twos will cancel out. So I'm just left with three over X, and then this will be 12 over X plus two, and this is all over five X. And then again, maybe you want to pause here and make sure you've got this and then hit play. So here, my LCD is going to be um, just x and x plus 2. So if I distribute this, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of cut to ahead to what this is going to leave me with. This will leave me with 3x plus 2 plus 12 times x because those denominators will cancel out. And then in the bottom, you've got 5x times x times x plus 2. 
I think you can hear my dog barking. Okay, so once you get to this point, the other thing you want to make sure you don't do is don't get cancellation happy. So sometimes people will see this and say, oh, X plus two, X plus two, I can cancel out. You can't cancel out yet because you still have to finish kind of the math up here. So if I actually distribute this, I get three X plus six plus 12 X over, let's call this five X squared times X plus two. And then, uh, let's see, I need to make a little space. Let me, let me make some space. Okay, so then from here, you can see that you've got some like terms. So this will be 15 X plus six over five X squared times X plus two. And now at this point, this is where you can finally simplify. And there's, again, there's not like a lot I can really do to simplify here. Like out of the top, I could factor out the three to get this five X plus two over five X squared times X plus two. But as you can see, you really can't like cancel any farther than this. So I don't, I don't know that I would actually factor out the three. Okay. So like I said, this was just a, a quick review, but it's something that I, I notice sometimes uh, Calc students forget. So hopefully this was helpful. If you encounter something like this in one of your problems, now you'll know what to do. A lot of times we say the calculus isn't the hard part, it's the algebra. So this is one of those places where I notice that. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.